and welcome to our very first Nintendo Power Podcast. Well, Nintendo Voice Power Podcast. I am here joined by the Hybrid Striker, Chew on Gaming, and Punch Pineapple will be joining me today. Say hi. Hi. What's up, kids? Yeah, it goes again. Show me no, like, she's, like, saying no. Um, okay. Well, thank you all for joining me. So, our first topic will be on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And, um, a quick announcement. Um, Amazon is being such a butthole. And, um, now... <laughs> and now... Whoa, 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 Watch your language. <laughs> watch your language. <laughs> well, now, the package... They said, oh no, it, it, we're so sorry that it's not coming. It's going to come very soon. Uh, Watch your language, Donovan. Bubble is a really strong word. So the live stream might be changed because of Amazon. But, Man, okay. this new Smash game is just so much fun. Uh, and I only level one up and play it. <laughs> Bro, you sound gay a little bit. Well, anyway, so our first topic is Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate. And um, I've been hearing some, well, let's move on to the problems first. I've been hearing lots of wag issues and no for glory anymore. Oh, really? It's a new game. Like, give it, like, a little bit of slack. It's a new game. Of course, it's going to be lag, but, no. you know. Nintendo Switch Online sucks. We paid $20. Yeah. We paid $20, and there's still lots of lag. Ding. Especially in Fortnite, because in Fortnite, if squad, you're facing it and you're with your squad, you'll just lag out the game while, while they're fighting. Exactly. So they, they gotta fix that. I don't even know if Nintendo is using servers. I think they're like using direct, something, something direct, which uh, doesn't work the greatest when it comes to lag. Yeah. So, have you guys have any, any good parts to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Like, the multiplayer aspect, which is probably my favorite, favorite or World of World of Light, yes. No. World of Light so far is um, it's it's good, but there are times where I it, it's kind of hard actually. <laughs> I mean, I didn't play it yet, but it looks it, it looks great. I mean, I mean not great, but it looks good. It might be great. I'm not saying it looks great. Cause I didn't play the game yet, but Nintendo once I play the Inven- game, I'm gonna the get Nintendo my full opinion. Avengers. Yeah, the most, the most, the best part I liked about Ultimate is because the most, the best part I liked about Ultimate was the classic. I've actually been able to reach the classic mode intensity level nine point nine, oh which gosh. is really surprising. Yeah, there's really a nine point nine on classic. I even tested the CPUs in the Smash mode. The CPUs are actually more difficult to even fight than all the other games. They can even edge guard and tech properly. Finally. Bro, you sound so professional. <laughs> By the way, um, in classic mode, there's actually new, more bosses than um just Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Uh, yeah. I played as the Inkling, and I actually fought Marks. Mm-hmm. When I fought as Mario, I did. It was there was Giga Bowser from Melee. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very scary. And when I was very when I was, scary, when I was Rob or Samus, I fought Gallium from Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Oh yeah, Gallium! Oh, yeah. yeah, that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I kind of already know that all these bosses are probably just being reused from the World of Light, but it's cool. <laughs> Ha, huh. well, you guys are playing the cool. new Smash. I'm stuck here lonely in my basement playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl with my brother. Yeah. Gee, I sure do wish level 1 up had ah! you brothers. <laughs> I mean, Brawl is still a good game, though, right? Yeah, but, but um, at least, at least been... you'll, get a, you'll get a... Especially, especially that theme music for Brawl, that, that jungle fire. Yep. Especially the tripping part. (laughs) (laughs) I saved the replay replay about about me, Inkling, and Captain Falcon, and it was so funny. Crazy. Everyone was edge guarding, and it was hilarious. You know, 
I want to notice one thing. I don't think, like, no matter how high you set the CPU settings, I think, like, CPUs will always go for the fake smash balls and get exploded themselves. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Wow. Uh Like, it's super obvious and they still go for it. (laughs) Yikes. Thing is, since it's so unpredictable, a lot of times, um... You can get caught in an explosion too, so, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some... I've seen this one, um... All the World of Light cutscenes. Well, I've only seen part of it, and, um... There's, like, this dark version of Galeem. But that's all I know. Dark on? Yeah. There's not that many cutscenes, too. But I didn't see the whole thing, because I didn't want to get spoiled. Wow. So, how... Ooh, spoiler alert for Donovan, you Spoiler no. game. Spoiler alert! Everybody dies. Like for real, they don't. They're not like the or anything. They just straight up die. <laughs> yeah, it's Thanos. Galena's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The new Thanos, Thanos just be much stronger. Thanos much stronger. <laughs> yep. If you defeat Thanos, you get to play as him. Oh, Imagine yeah. if Thanos was actually in Ultimate. That'd be crazy. So is it like difficult or I've I I've, I've heard that it's really Holy like, crap it's difficult. I mean It is with enough going even taboo from Brawl. I've seen um with enough I've seen this one video of World of Light where this guy was facing with Kirby with Mar Marth, I think. Yeah, it looked pretty easy, but until you get to the other spirits they're kinda hard. Like the Gordo. I have to say one thing. I have a newfound respect for Marth because he's kind of like, so far he's basically like my go-to person for killing pretty much anything. <laughs> Yay! So, anything else about um, the Smash Bros. Ultimate? Sorry. No, as great as the spirits are, I miss the trophies. Oh, say, can you see me? Donna, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I only, I only clear classic bar on height on classic um on nine points something with uh, Mario, Jeez. Donkey Kong, Samus, and I think Inkling too. You got up to nine point seven. Jeez. I even made it to nine point nine with someone else. Wow! Oh my god, that's that's yeah. gonna be chaotic for me. It it was. Well, even the hands, even the hands when you fight them, they're even more powerful. Oh, is Master Core still there? Nope. No, the the hands. It's just the hands. Oh, say can you? That doesn't mean like, don't say that, please. Don't ever say that. <laughs> have the game awards so i was kind of disappointed because all i wanted from nintendo was metroid prime 4 and super smash bros and um there was no metroid and i was very 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 hyped that's kind of oh, well, it's kind of all i wanted i didn't see. even watch it uh is that okay <laughs> uh sure uh, i mean i have the list right here of the Game Awards winners right here. Game Awards 1, I was really surprised. I thought the only thing that caught my there. attention was the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate revealed to it for Joker for my Another Nintendo related thing was Joker from Persona 5. I mean, yeah, Smash he's the first when Steel Suit Fighter to come out in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. When I first heard Joker, I was like, ah! But then I remembered, wait, Bayonetta got in. Never mind. <laughs> when I first saw the lighting effects for Persona 5 for Smash it, at the Game Awards, I'm like, oh, what is this? I, I never heard of Persona 5. Until, oh my gosh, it's in Smash. I probably should know it. I actually discovered the, these news yesterday on, on, a, on a Discord server when it was in a chat session where someone showed me a post about the, the new DLC Fighter for Ultimate and I saw the trailer and I thought, no way. 
the Joker from Persona 5, and that's what caught my attention, and I was excited to face him. I was like... Is it bad that... I was like, who's, you go. who's this? Is it bad that when I first heard Joker, I didn't actually think of Joker from Persona 5. I thought of Jevil from Deltarune. Uh, <laughs> oh, Deltarune, that game. <laughs> I... I Oh, you can like, say them now. Because I need to refresh it. Wait, so I can say them now? Alright, so Game of the Year went to God of War. Multiplayer Game of the Year went to Fortnite. Of course. Boo! Shut up. <laughs> um, Independent Game of the Year went to... um, Celeste. I don't know uh, whatever it's called. Oh, uh, Fight. Uh, Alright, um, fighting game of the year went to Dragon Ball Fighter Z. If sports only Smash came out in time. Sports slash racing game of the year went to uh, Forza Horizon Four, which is a racing game. Yeah. Ongoing game of the year went to, of course, Fortnite. Role playing, playing game of the year went to Monster Hunter World. Oh, Monster Family Monster. game of the year went to. Overcooked 2, yeah. Narrative Game of the Year, went to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, Esports Game of the Year went to no other than Overwatch. Action Game slash Adventure of the Year went to, of course, God of War. Action Game of the Year went to Dead Cells. Score slash Soundtrack Game of the Year went to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, what's it called? Uh, stra strategy game of the year went to Into the Breach. Um, VR game of the week. Yeah, VR game of the year went to Astrobot Rescue Mission. Uh, debut indie game of the year went to The Messenger. A lot. Wait, hold on, wait. Uh, mobile, mobile game of the year went to Florence. Um, I was surprised Fortnite didn't win. I'm, I'm already won enough. Content creator of the year went to Ninja. Ninja. Well, um, okay. Audio design of the year went to Red Dead Redemption 2. And best esports event went to the 2018 League of Legends World Championship. Me and Bill is cool. Watched like the entire Game Awards. And um, we like kind of guessed on some of them. Some of the winners, um, we kind of guessed wrong on most of them. That's great. <laughs> but Fortnite actually came in third for uh best mobile, for best mobile game of the year. When I when I saw like, <laughs> when I saw like the game of the year nominees, I I was I I was believing that Fortnite would like be on there because you know. Fortnite's like everywhere, but nope. And also, didn't didn't breath didn't ugh, didn't Breath of the Wild win uh Game of the Year last year? Yeah. Yeah. And no then, ice. Yeah. I was um kind of disappointed because the chat was just spamming in Nintendo must save this, and then we all we get is like some kind of orchestra, and that's it. And then once the stream ended, <laughs> everyone's like. Questioning Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4. For Metroid Prime? And there's also this um, Red Dead Redemption 2 performance. And someone said, press F to skip. And everyone was just starting to spam F. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's everything for the Game Awards now. Now Boo, too much Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite is gonna destroy the game it runs into just like Black Ops 4. Oh I hate Fortnite. <laughs>
Duh, it's not console. I mean, what are you gonna do? They never, like... Break it and make it good again? I mean, what are you, Trump? Trump make America good again? Breaking the PlayStation Classic and saying that, and, and trying to make it better, is like saying that you're Trump nuggets? and you're gonna make it, and you're gonna make it, make America better, better again. <laughs> Travel! I've also heard that, uh... That's Sony really... Well, the game selection is okay, but some hackers found out the some games that were cut for the PlayStation Classic, and um, lots of people were extremely disappointed at Sony for like cutting them out, including Crash Bandicoot, which was basically their mascot, and um, that was kind Wait, of Wait, really? They cut Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, what the idea was, is that? Yeah, that was that was kind of strange. Also, Tomb Raider, they cut out. Why would they do that, though? Well, um, you're gonna know. Oh, well, I mean, this is an explanation why it's so, why it's bad reviews. It has a, uh, editor's rating of 4.0. Ooh. Wow. And also, um, the oh. emulator processor is an open source emulator. And with emulators, they're supposed to make, like, games better, but it, they kind of made it worse with PAL games. And if you don't know what PAL games are, they're basically the European standard for TVs in, like, I don't know, the 80s. So it can fit their style. What? And now they kind of run slow on regular U.S. TVs. <laughs> the silence. Wow. That is just really That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. For a second until uh, someone just talks. <laughs> so for this breakdown of the entire the PlayStation Classic. When I first saw the PlayStation Classic, I was like, wait, what? This must this, this ad must be old because it's a PlayStation Classic, so I'm, I'm not not going about this ad. But then when I went on the internet and, and saw a PlayStation Classic uh, new console, I was like, wait, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Yeah, when I saw the PlayStation Classic, I'm like, ooh, that looks cool, that's so cute, until I see the reviews, I'm like, oh. Never mind! Okay. People say don't buy it. The next video, they buy it to make a review. <laughs> <laughs> so Sounds like something you would do, 101. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so much reviews, I'll tell you that. No N64 class. Imagine if there were, though. That would be amazing. Yeah. I want a GameCube classic. But that's what I want. A small I still have GameCube. a GameCube. I want to play Kirby Air Ride. They should make a Kirby Air Ride 2. That's what I want from Nintendo. Nintendo, where's my Kirby yeah, Air Ride 2? What now? They should make Adventures of Lolo 2. Uh, that already exists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you wanted to, like, ask for a Lolo game, it would be, like, Adventures of Lolo, I don't know, 4 or 5. Okay, guys, next up, we will be moving on to Smash Bros. tips. So, any tips for me, please? <laughs> don't suck. Oh, I mean, not for you, oh, but, but for the whole world. Hey, I play the game a lot. The grind is like a new Fortnite. Like, just play whenever you can. I got one. If you're facing against a CPU on level 9, and if you're on right next to the edge, the, the enemies will just will hit you with their back air, and you have to tech perfectly. Otherwise, they'll just go down and meet you, smash you again. That happened to me lots of times, and I have lots of replays to show you those examples, and they're very good at edge guarding, so be sure to press R. When like you're up against shield? the wall and then perfect shielding. No, no. Like when you're when you're about to recover, the enemies will literally do their best to try to edge guard you and make you f get stage spot. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they're much more intelligent now. So I fought them like lots of times, and they're very. I I had to watch that in the. I saw a Smash Bros. game because I, I would always get cornered and I would always die. Especially, uh, I guess, level 9. Yeah, I remember in Smash 4, me against the CPUs, I would just always spam the attack, and then once they're up in the air, 
I just use my up attack and then special and then hopefully get the smash ball to give them enough percentage and yeah. One example is um in the last match game I faced three guys um oh wait um I did a I did a three man squad versus me all three uh, level nine oh. I did three stock right. I've had and bad then the thing is I think all I needed was one more hit to win, but I got cornered and I died, and it was on final and, and it was on final destination. I've had bad memories of me against level nine CPUs on an entire squad. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna bring that up anymore. And I'm just surprised that that a lot of CPUs and I were at the very ledge, and only one of us only one of us survived, and I end up just trying to disrespect them with my meteor smash moves. <laughs> and trust me, the amount of disrespect given to even me is just flat out hilarious. Oh, um, what about classic mode? What's like new there? Classic mode. Classic mode. So far, I've only I've only um. A, I've only cleared the top difficult, the top intensity level 9.9 .9 with Mario, Donkey Kong. I think Samus, um, the Inkling I did at 8, and I guess that's it for now. What are, like, the challenges? Hey! If there's one thing I like about, uh, Classic Mode, it's actually back to being Classic Mode, because in the Wii U version, it wasn't really Classic Mode. It was, uh, it was different. It, it wasn't as good. Remember Either. Smash so, yeah. Tour? Well, I forgot you were here. Uh, Punch Pineapple, I forgot that you were here because you're so quiet. Uh oh. Remember Smash Tour, guys? Uh, <laughs> Smash <laughs> Tour? That's my favorite! <laughs> no. No. It was awesome. <laughs> People wouldn't want to play that. <laughs> I tried it once, and, uh, yeah, I, I didn't ever pick it up again. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we will be talking about our YouTube channels and what's going on. So, right now, as you all know, Super Smash Bros. for me has been delayed. So, yeah, the live stream might be moved. Gee, if only one of could have Smash, that would be great! <laughs> Hey, first of all, I can't even hear you guys because, like, you're a little lag game. You feel this? So, yeah, that's it. Say no. Oh, and, um, also more comics will be coming in. And True One, your trailer is being, me is being made, and I'm sure it will be made before Christmas. Thanks, bro. So, I may do a, I may do a, I may do a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate live stream or just my first video of the new series coming soon. Oh, yeah. But then I had to, to limit my own time because of my educational problem. But I will upload more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Splatoon 2 content in the future. All right, I have more live streams to come, including Splatoon 2, which is the, you know, Splatfest. The heroes and, versus villains. Yes. Villains. Oh. Villains. <laughs> Then Smash, Heroes. then um, uh, um, uh, Fortnite, then my special New Year's Eve live stream. I hope you all can join that to celebrate the end of the year. I'll I'll join. I'm in for a new year. Oh uh, yeah. So wait, uh, wait, uh, wait. What game did you say? Um, Splatoon two live stream, Fortnite live stream, then Smash, and then finally New Year's Eve live stream. Are you gonna are you gonna play in the your live stream? Um, basically a lot of online games. Alright. All right. Anything else for you guys? Um, no, I guess that's pretty much it. But also, like, I forgot to mention that that my crush finally has Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well, and we could do we could all do collabs together for what? Ultimate. Oh yeah! Yay! Did you see your crush? Get him yeah, I have a crush. She also has ultimate. Well, guys, oh. now we're moving on to the conclusion. Uh, let's... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I need to seamlessly advertise my YouTube channel, too. Um, <laughs> I'm making a video explaining why you shouldn't credit Safari. Hey, guys, this is my <laughs> one. Uh, 
Look at my new live streams. Like, I, I, I didn't credit Safari anymore. Whatever, I'm still making it. <laughs> so, too bad. <laughs> like, you know what? I don't care. Well, everyone, thank you all for watching the first Nintendo Boys Power Podcast. The next one will be in January, and it will be live streamed. Wait, we're making another one of these? Yeah. Oh, yes, no! better. Oh. It's going to be better yeah. because Fuck it's going to be... Help me in on the next one. I want to be there. Oh, yeah. The next one is going to be better because it's going to be live, unlike this one, because it's a video. Donovan, oh, the oh, podcasts yeah. were recorded. It's going to be very good. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to say um, thank you all for joining, and we'll see you all later. Bye. See you later, everyone. Uh, See ya. See y'all. Peace. When it's live.